What is going on guys? My name is Brent and welcome to part 11 of my tutorial series on how to create the game Super Mario Brothers. So in the last tutorial we left off by adding a uh, texture region we called Mario Stand onto our box 2D body and moved that around the screen. In this tutorial we're going to talk about animating Mario with a run uh, animation and also a jump animation. So if you want to learn how to go ahead and do this, check it out. Little animations for jump and run. Go ahead and stick with me. So we're pretty much going to be working exclusively in the Mario class during this tutorial. And the first thing we're going to do is set up an enumeration for our uh, Mario states, such as running, jumping, standing, and uh, falling. So public uh, enum state, and uh, we're going to say falling, jumping, standing, and running and then we're going to set up two new states called the current and the previous state so public uh, state current uh, current state and public state previous state and we'll use these later on and we're going to add two new animations private animation uh, animation from bad logic Mario run and private animation Mario jump and then we're also gonna add a boolean to tell which direction uh, Mario is currently running to the left or the right so a boolean um, it will really create this a private boolean uh, running right the last new variable we're gonna need is a private float state timer and this will use to keep track of the amount of time we're in any given state like a jump state or a run state or standing so let's go ahead and initialize these new variables in our constructor our current state equals state dot uh, standing and our previous state equals state dot standing our um, state timer will be initialized to zero and our running right will equal initial true initially now let's initialize our animations the first thing we need to do before we actually initialize them is to create an array of texture regions to pass the constructor for the animation so array of texture region Let's get the bad logic array is what we want. And we're going to call these frames equals new array texture region. So looking at our little Mario uh, PNG file that is also inside of our Mario and enemies PNG texture atlas. That's our sprite currently. Um, we are looking for the run animation. So we see that the animation for the run is uh, image one, two, and three. Remember it starts at zero index. So image one, two, and three. So in order to get that into our uh, animation or our frames here, let's create a for loop. For int i equals one, i is less than four, um, i plus plus. And what we'll say is frames dot add, and then we'll get a new texture region. We'll create a new texture region that will take in our get texture, um, and then we give it uh, i times sixteen, which will be so initially the very first one will be 16 times 1, which will be 16 pixels, which will start right here on our Mario. And then we tell it that the width is 16 and the height is 16. Um, so let's go back to Mario here. Sorry. So I times 16, and then we started uh, Y equals 0, and pass it 16 for the width and 16 for the height. Now let's go ahead and create our animation by doing Mario run equals new animation. And the first uh, parameter is uh, the duration of each frame. We're gonna say 0.1 float. And then the array of frames, we'll pass it. 
Now what we can do is say frames.clear because we no longer need it inside of our frames. We'll use it to set up for our jump animation. So the jump animation uh, starts right here, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and goes to 5. So there's only two frames in the jump animation. So let's do 4 int i equals 4. i, I is less than 6. i plus plus frames dot add new texture region get texture i times 16 uh, 0 for the y-axis and each one of these is 16 by 16 pixels and then we'll say Mario jump equals new animation 0 0.1 f and pass it again to our frames so now that we have everything initialized, let's move to the update method here. We're going to do set uh, region to get frame dt. We'll pass it the delta time. Now we need to create this method. This method will return uh, the appropriate frame that we need to be displaying as the sprites texture region. Okay. So let's go ahead and create the method here. Um, public uh, texture region get frame takes in a float a delta time now the first thing we need to do to figure out what texture region we need to display to the user is what state is mario in is he standing is he jumping is he running so let's go ahead and do current state equals get state and we need to create that method to public state get state so we're gonna base our state off of what our B2 body is currently doing. So if our B2 body dot get linear velocity dot y is greater than zero, then he's going up in the air, so he must be jumping. So let's return state dot jumping. Um, if B2 body dot get linear velocity dot y is less than zero. Um, let's, he must be going down, so he must be falling. Return um, state dot falling. Now there's a catch to that, and we'll go over it in a little bit later. Um, this is an else if. And then else if b2 body dot get linear velocity dot x um, does not equal zero, so he's not moving to the left or to the right. Um, or he uh, is moving to the left or to the right. Um, we'll, we'll say return state dot running. And finally, else um, return state dot standing. Now there's a little catch here uh, with the falling uh, being tied to a linear velocity less than zero on the y-axis. If he's running off the ledge and he falls, we want to display a different animation than if he is jumping in the air and then descending down. We want the entire jump animation to be the woohoo Mario. So when he goes up and until he cut, touches the ground, Mario will have his hand up in the air. If he's just running off a block and he falls down, we just want it to display the standing animation. So he doesn't it doesn't look like he he runs off the edge and then just throws his arm up as he's falling down. Um, so what we want to do here is check or um, b2 body dot get linear velocity dot y is less than zero and um, the previous state equals um, state dot jumping so if he's falling but he was previously jumping up right before he started to fall then continue with the jumping animation basically so now that we have our state, let's go back to our get frame method here. We're going to create a texture region called region. And what we're going to do is switch our current state. So we're going to do things differently depending on what our current state is. The first case is that Mario is jumping. And if Mario is jumping, we want our region to equal uh, Mario jump dot get keyframe. 
Um, and then we're going to pass it in our state timer. The state timer is what decides what frame gets uh, uh, rendered or pulled from the animation. So uh, it, it cycles through. If it's past uh, the individual frame time that we sent uh, the constructor above, 0.1, then it will advance uh, to the next frame. Uh, in a looping animation, if it gets to the end, then it will return back to the very first frame. So we'll just break here. And then the next case is that Mario is running. And if Mario is running, the region will equal Mario run dot get keyframe with a state timer. It also is going to be a loopable animation. So it takes the, uh, the get keyframe takes in another uh, parameter and we'll call this, it's a Boolean for looping, so true. And then we'll break that. And then we got case um, falling, which is also going to be the same as case um, standing, and which is also going to be our default case. Um, and all of that region will equal Mario stand. So let's go ahead and break that. Now the next thing we need to do, since we have our uh, texture region, we need to know which direction we need to draw that region. Draw Mario facing to the left or to the right. Now for when they're running, we know for sure that if he's running in a positive x direction that we should draw him to the right. If he's running in a negative direction, uh, then we should draw him to the left. But when he's standing still, we have no reference. So we need to remember, uh, always remember to set the boolean. Was he running to the right or was he running uh, to the left, that boolean value that we declared up top? So I'm going to attempt to explain this here. We're going to create an if, and we need double here, b2 body dot get linear velocity in the x-axis is less than zero, or he is running left or not running right, and uh, the region um, dot is flip x. Um, and this is his not. So region dot if flip x returns true if the uh, texture is flipped over. So in our case, it would be towards uh, Mario would be facing to the left. So if he's running to the left and the region isn't facing left, then what we need to do um, is region dot flip x. So flip X is uh, the first one and Y is the second one. We don't need to flip it on the Y axis. And we also need to say running right equals false because we've turned him to the left. He's running to the left and now the texture is facing to the left and we need to set uh, the Boolean value running right to false. So next, uh, else if, um, and we'll also again need this, um, B2 body dot get linear velocity dot x is greater than zero or he is running right this is these both of these values are only needed for the case that mario is standing still um and um region um dot is flip x returns true which means that it's facing to the left and he is running to the right um, we need to region again dot flip in the x axis and false in the y axis. F A L S E spelling and then running right equals true. You're almost done. All we need to do is set the state timer uh, to equal. Does our current state equal our previous state? If it does, uh, then the state timer um, plus dt, else uh, then it equals zero. Because if it doesn't equal the previous state, then we must have transitioned to a new state and we need to reset the timer. Um, and then we need to set our previous state uh, equal to our current state. And then just we need to return our region. So that's it. Go ahead and hit the run button. Mario is running with his animation to the left and to the right correctly. He is jumping up with his animation all the way back down to the ground, which is what we want. 
Um, he is falling without doing the jump animation. Now there is some artifact when he's running across some of these tiles, like only on the blocks, not when he's on the ground, uh, because what happens is he does a slight little bounce sometimes in between those blocks that is giving a Mario an upward velocity. Now there is some fixes to this. Um, it's a little difficult in box 2D to not give an upward velocity um, when he's running over connected tiles. Uh, but I'm going to leave that up to homework for you guys because uh, we have already run over our time limit in this video and in future videos we have so much more to talk about it doesn't really bother me that much so I'm gonna leave that up to you guys uh, if you want to fix it or not so that's it for this video I know and I apologize that the video was much longer than my typical videos but it needed to be done um, all of this information that you got uh, is required information on this topic so I don't think we wasted any of your time uh, if you have any questions comments or concerns go ahead and post them below I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody if you like this video go ahead and like and subscribe uh, but please most importantly share it uh, if you're feeling generous check out my patreon page I give you two big thumbs up for that. I appreciate everybody watching and I'll catch you guys next time.